Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mrs. Adelokbo from CTY Modu College, Ibadan, your states. I welcome back to our e-learning classes. I'm to take you commerce SS2. At our previous class, we looked into the definition of insurance, the differences between insurance and assurance, history of insurance in Nigeria. We also look at insurable and non-insurable risks. Today, we shall look at the basic principles of insurance. Principles of insurance refers to the basic principles which must be fulfilled in insurance. These are one, indemnity. Indemnity is a compensation given to the insured by the insurer in the event of his suffering a loss. He will be resorted to his former position before the loss occurred. All other types of insurance are insurance of a indemnity except life assurance, e.g. if a man loses a car, he will be compensated for it. Two, insurable risks. This is one of the principles of insurance, which states that one can only insure property that will bring loss or liability to him upon destruction. The property of a neighbor or friend cannot be insured by the individual. He can only insure property. He can only insure property that will bring financial loss to himself. Any insurance without this principle is void and destitute of any legal effects. E.g., you cannot insure the motor car of your friend. 3. Contribution The principle states that where a person has insured a certain risk with many insurance companies, he cannot claim compensation in full from each of the insurance companies. This means that each of the insurance companies will pay a certain portion of the loss. The insured cannot make gain or loss. If she has been settled by another company, he is not entitled to receive contribution from other insurance from other insurance firm. Four. Ultimate good faith. In Berman 14. The principle states that in any insurance contract, all relevant information that we have fed the validity of the agreement must be disclosed by the party involved. The party must disclose all materials facts truthfully so as not to render the contract void. 5. Proximate cost. This principle states that only the losses or liability which arise from the direct and immediate cause of the event insured against are identified. There must be a link between the loss suffered and the risks for which the insurance has been taken. 6. Subrogation 
The principle implies that the insurance company can take over the rights of the insured once he has compensated. The insurance can take over the scribe and sell it to reduce their liability. A very good example in which subrogation arises is in motor insurance. Dr. Olisa's car, for instance, had an accident and he has been compensated. The car is no longer his own. The insurance can sell the scrap. Seven, abandonment. The principle states that property that has been insured may be abandoned in certain cases of the actual loss appear to be unavoidable or of the cost of repairing the damaged property we exist their valued. Now, these are the basic principles of insurance. Let's move to types of insurance. There are two major groups of insurance. These are life insurance. These include whole life insurance, whole life assurance, endowment, Term assurance and immunity. The non life insurance. This is the branch of insurance which is taken as a protection against loss of property and other valuable. The non insurable. The non-life insurance include one, bad debts, two, goods in transit, three, group insurance, four, cash in transit, five, fidelity guarantee, six, export credit guarantee, seven, plate grass, eight, agricultural insurance, Nine, burglary, thief, robbery. Ten, consequential loss. Eleven, contractor or risk. Twelve, employer liability. Thirteen, aviation insurance. Fourteen, accident class. Fifteen, motor vehicle. Sixteen, marine insurance. 17. Fire insurance. Now we shall look at how these types at our next class. Let's read more on the topic. For assignment, let's check our portal. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.